Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. The hardest part about living in the streets is that every day someone has stolen something from me. Recently I have lost my headphones. They were great army brand or army support brand headphones and they worked really well for me. But now they're missing. You see we have people who pilfer in the community and that pisses me off because we all have rights to own property. And if somebody was doing that to them they'd probably be pretty upset. We have the right to be ourselves and we have the right to do things for ourselves. But in the world of COVID we have to be paying attention to the rules. The rules still remain that we have rights to the privacy of our medical records. We have the right to the privacy of our fecal matter. We have the right to the privacy of our pee, and no one can collect it without our consent. No one can collect it without our permission. And while there's bitches and bastards in a medical community that will lie, steal, and cheat you out of your records, the people who do that end up in hell. Jesus Christ did not die for you to take over someone's life and tell them how to live. Jesus Christ did not die for you to go into someone's house, go into someone's place, go into someone's anything, and take that from them. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these people who do this to people like me and others, but you do not have the right to do that to anyone. You are an ill-willed, immoral asshole of America, and we don't need you here. And if you're not an American citizen, go with a backpack back to your fucking back asshole little country that didn't teach you one fucking thing law about the world. We have rights. The international treaties of America and the rest of the 400 countries that sign them are expecting you to know what the fuck to do as an adult. And if you don't, your entire fucking educational system in your country has failed. If you don't speak the Lord's English really well, keep working on it. Keep talking to people. Keep exploring. Talk with people who are caring and kind who will give you new language, give you new words. Carry yourself a little bitty journal in your front pocket where if you hear a new word, you can write it down. And if you don't know how to spell it, you ask the guy, say, would you spell that word you just said for me again? Would you say it again for me? Would you let it write, let me write it down, or would you write it down for me so I know how to spell it so I can look it up in my dictionary at home and become a better speaker for me? You see, it's not hard to improve yourself. One of the things that I loved about my lay family, and when I say that is that they're no longer with me, they have passed into their world, and I don't have to complete, com, 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 I don't have to, sorry, I don't have to keep complaining, I don't have to keep explaining what happened in my family. I had a late Japanese spouse who's no longer with me. But one of the most impressive things about that woman is she learned to speak English really late in life. She was like 38 or 39. I can't even remember. Maybe 32 when we when we began. And I don't even remember. But as six years older than me, she did her, her best in American culture and American society. She worked her ass off to learn to read and speak English at the collegiate level. She could read just about any textbook. And I didn't have to do much in the way of translation. I am so proud of her for what she could completed and what she accomplished it's not even funny my son was sort of like that too my Japanese son my late Japanese son was a beautiful speaker of English he learned early starting at age eight and he really could do things beautifully because he loved music and music of the world is what helped people to understand languages you see languages have a diction languages have a timing languages have, languages have a tonation languaging languages sometimes have a rhyming but that's not the point the point is you have to be able to hear the tonal differences in sounds, especially if you're going to speak something like Chinese or Farsi or anything like that. You have to be able to do that. So music around a child is really essential. It's really important. But we should never take that out of a school, but that's just my opinion. I also feel that people have to really start to go back to learning home economics, and that was the stupidest thing that the American government did was to take that out of there because what it did was teach children to not care for food, to not regard food, to not regard the safety sanitation and the sanctity of food.